Well, tomorrow's ceremony at the Edmund Pettus Bridge is expected to be one of the most powerful moments during these tributes. It's where a young John Lewis marched for voting rights back in 1965, nearly losing his life on what would become known as Bloody Sunday. But the future congressman did not cross that bridge alone. Tracy Amick Peer spoke to a woman who was there with Lewis on that day about the lessons she learned from him and the legacy he leaves behind. The tear gas and the cow car, I think was the worst thing. All of the other things was, you know, was not bad. And they really didn't beat on the girls as, as bad as they did the, the men. Alice Thomas Moore has lived in Atlanta for 36 years. But in 1965, she was a junior in high school in Selma, Alabama, where she met and marched with Congressman John Lewis. And what was so amazing about John Lewis, he taught us, and he taught us about marching and being nonviolent. That was the most uh, amazing thing because we were young kids. Moore says March 7th was their third attempt to cross the Edmund Pettus Bridge. 600 foot soldiers started out, but only half made it across, with Lewis in front. I think if he could have shielded all of us from some of the licks and some of the tear gas, he would have. Moore says much of the crowd was young since they recruited students. We had, you know, the energy to do it more so than our parents. And we were really uh, doing this for our parents to vote. And later on, we'll become registered voters. While protesting, she was arrested three times. Now, as a mother and grandmother, she realizes the fear her parents must have had while she was marching. Basically, just pray with us to be careful because they knew of the danger, but they didn't labor on it. She says she is in favor of the movement to rename the bridge in Selma to honor John Lewis and the sacrifices he made through the years. And for the next generation, she hopes the lessons he taught will remain part of his legacy. Well, the main lesson he taught, to, taught me was determination. Don't give up. And he didn't want us to get hurt either, but he always said, you know, something might happen. Something might happen, but he wanted you to go back and try it again. Moore says it is important to have tangible reminders like the mural here in downtown Atlanta to remind the next generation of what can be done. She says she hopes the bridge in Selma is renamed after Congressman Lewis. And if it is, she'll go back to Selma and walk across it once again. And as we mentioned, there'll be six days of tributes to Congressman Lewis. On Monday, his body will be transported to Washington, D.C. for a special ceremony there, the U.S. Capitol. He will then lie in state there for two days, during which the public can pay their respect. And then on Wednesday, Congressman Lewis will return to his adopted hometown right here in the metro. He will be in Atlanta, where he will lie in state at the Georgia State Capitol before a private celebration of his life will happen on Thursday at Ebenezer Baptist Church. We've posted all the events, the full list on 11alive.com. Also, just to remind you, 11 Alive will have special coverage of each day's ceremony and we'll have a special report for you tomorrow too. It will happen in the morning at 11 o'clock. And before that, you can watch an encore presentation of our hour long special, Remembering John Lewis. It's posted right now. The full tribute of his life of making good trouble right now on 11alive.com's YouTube page.